Now imagine waking up one day and finding out that those very elegant attributes of this new and fantastic land was offered to the whole world and was available to everyone except you. You can take your glasses off now. <laughs> African Americans were brought here against their will to be slaves. They were routinely brutalized, body parts dismembered, they were inhumanely whipped on a daily basis, their families were separated, their women were repeatedly raped, all while building this new land with no financial compensation. This totally inexcusable behavior became the law of the land. But there were many, many people who thought it was wrong, but for all intents and purposes, kept silent. What should have annihilated a whole race of people spiritually made them stronger? Clinging to an enormous faith in God, the slaves did not see themselves in the same manner as their captors. In fact, they sang songs that provided encouragement, like, before I be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave and go home to be with Jesus and be free. The story of people of color in America could be some of the most proud stories told of en enduring strength and perseverance. Yet in 2015, there are far too many stories of African Americans still being treated with disrespect and indignation. Throughout it all, African Americans remain loyal and optimistic. We were told just to be patient and, and, and relaxed, along with equality would come eventually. We were told to stop complaining and act like we were appreciative to what we had. We were told to keep our noses clean and pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. We were told that to act like, we were told to act like we were Americans and one day maybe we would be treated like one. Well, here are some of the numbers. As we became loyal and tried to follow the routine to become official Americans. We fought in every war that this country has had. In the Civil War, 40,000 African Americans were killed. In World War I, 643. In World War II, 708. Korean War, 3,075. Vietnam, 7,243. Operation Iraqi Freedom, 449. Operation Enduring Freedom, Enduring Freedom, 170. In the Revolutionary War, at least 5,000 African American soldiers fought as revolutionaries. But check this out. And at least 20,000 served with the British. Black volunteers were also served with various units of the South Carolina guerrilla units, including that of the Swamp Fox, Francis Marion. In fact, half of those forces consisted of free blacks. Literally thousands of African American women, men, and children were lynched in America, and then well over a century, after the Constitution was passed, a coalition of Americans stepped up to make a change. I'm reading a quote. The NAACP was formed partly in response to the continually horrific practice of lynching and the 1908 race riot in Springfield, the capital of Illinois, an arrested place of President Abraham Lincoln. Appalled at the violence that was committed against blacks, a group of liberal whites that included Mary White Ovington, Oswald Villard, both descendants of abolitionists, William English, Walling, and Dr. Henry Muscovich, 
issued a call for a meeting to discuss racial justice. Some 60 people, seven of whom were African Americans, including, including W.E.B. Du Bois, Ida B. Wells Barnett, and Mary Church Terrell, signed the call, which was released on the centennial of Lincoln's birthday. The NAACP's principal objective is to ensure the political, educational, social, and economic equality of minority group citizens of the United States and eliminate race prejudice. The NAACP seeks to remove all barriers of racial discrimination through the democratic processes. That was in 1909. Six million Jews were killed by the Nazis in World War II, and America is still hunting down and prosecuting those who had even a small role in those atrocities. However, it has been estimated that over 50 million Africans were killed during the Middle Passions that brought Africans to America to be slaves, and thousands upon thousands killed during the system of slavery. The American response to the descendants of those slaves, just get over it. What's wrong with America is the silence of good people who know better. What's good about America is exactly what the Constitution says. What's bad about America is the idea that some people have, have privilege and some people do not. What makes a unit strong, or in this case, a country strong, is their ability to stand together. If you are not making sure that the quality of life for children is not consistently improving, then we are being selfish, and the truth is not in us. We cannot let services for children be less than superior. We cannot let our school systems, which include the quality of our teachers and the materials that they use, be anything less than the best. We cannot cut programs and services to children every time it's time to cut a budget. We must make sure that there are after-school programs and we, and we can programs that nurture the bodies and the minds of the future leaders for America. We must show these children that they can rise above their circumstances and become whomever they want to be. We must show today's children that when working together, they can accomplish all things.